Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to It's Rainmaking Time. This is Kim Greenhouse. You know how dedicated I am to keeping people healthy and well and bringing the most advanced people in the world to the show for discussion purposes and how committed I am to making sure you have cutting-edge information. I've invited Dr. Gary Gordon of the Gordon Research Institute to the show today. His latest book is called Detox with Oral Chelation, along with David J. Brown. Now, he's been talking about this for many, many years, about how oral chelation and chelation helps prevent heart disease and how he has trained thousands of doctors to help their patients avoid cardiovascular disease. But there's many sides to his practice and many sides to his work. Another one has to do with getting the heavy metals out of our bodies, which if you're breathing air and drinking water and eating any kind of food is accumulating in our bodies. He shared it a million times before, but when you're on its rainmaking time, many, many things come out from our guests that maybe they haven't said before or are said differently. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome the father and the pioneer of oral chelation, Dr. Gary Gordon, to its rainmaking time. Good morning. Good morning. All right. I have a lot of questions for you. I guess the first thing is to find out the real shocker that something called EDTA goes into your body and it actually removes the heavy metals and the toxins from heavy metals out of the body on a daily basis. Why do we need to take heavy metals out daily, even though it would seem to be obvious? Why daily? Well, because we can't stop breathing. And when we breathe, uh, we take in lead and mercury. It's well proven that the gift from China, when they turn on all those electric power plants, the poisoning of the entire atmosphere so no one can escape there's an antarctic arctic everybody today at birth averages a thousand times more lead in every bone of every child born today over just 700 years ago so we've really poisoned our nest what about for example the nuclear power plants in america let alone what's going on with the coal burning in china And how do we as Americans think about the coal burning in China and in other places, by the way, and how it gets on over here to the United States of America? Well, the problem is that there is no free lunch. And so uh, whether whatever we want to do about it, we can scrub the, the coal when we burn it so that the mercury and lead is caught before it goes into the air. Uh, that's an expensive process. China is aware of how they have poisoned their population. Their air is so bad that during the Olympics they had to turn off all of the industry because it is so bad. So they know that they have this mess, and the New York Times puts it on the front page showing that the prevailing wind will carry it directly from China to America. We get even because a lot of our bad air goes back to China. So it go- what goes around comes around, but the bottom line is that we have to deal with the fact that if you're going to reach your maximum intended useful lifespan free of any health ailment, we all need to detox every single day of our life. And as good as the IV chelation is, and I'm considered to be the co-founder of the intravenous chelation, and we've saved 10 million people from having legs amputated or heart surgery, so we're pretty proud of what IV can do, but IV doesn't solve the problem because as good as it is, it won't take the lead out of your bones. So you really have to be on a program daily. And because chelation is still relatively controversial in our country, a lot of people aren't going to get on the oral chelation. So I've even moved a little beyond that. And I now have a website called Zeolite answer.com because one way or another I have got to get it so that our babies are not born with what is proven to be in every child at birth today. If you go and put it Google the word 10 Americans you will find that the Environment Working Group EWG.org spent 13000 per baby, selected 10 babies at random measured over 300 different chemicals, and every child is loaded with neurotoxins, carcinogens, endocrine disruptors, and it's about six times more in the baby than it is in the mother because it concentrates in the baby. So I have to have everybody that I can help 
have a healthy baby by being on oral chelation and or high dose fiber and or zeolite because we are living on a toxic planet. We have done it to our earth and the data is all there. Anyone on my website can easily put in the word lead or mercury and learn that there is no safe level of these. They're impairing our IQ. They are giving us more cancers. They're across the board. They're knocking the immune system out. Heavy metals are the tip of the iceberg because we also have the dioxins and the PCBs. We, we're doing bad things, which is why I saved the CNN special called Toxic America on my website because they'll never play it again because there'd be no advertisers who could afford to continue to tell the American public how dangerous our industrial age has become. But I did save the two one-hour specials Sanjay Gupta did. And anybody going on my website, look for CNN special, and it says Toxic America, and watch those two hours, and you will know why your children can't learn and why you're fighting cancer. You'll understand what's happening. Now, oral chelation... Is it preventative of cancer or it also eradicates cancer in the body or both? No, I, I don't have any data that really shows it eradicates. What we're saying to people is that if you could go through life with no lead, you will live far longer. Your immune system will be functioning optimally. We all have cancer during our lifetime continuously. There's no way to avoid some cancers, but our body handles it. But the more toxic we are, the less efficient the handling. So the oral chelation is designed to do all the things that we know. If we read up on all the bad things that lead does, you can go to an FDA site, put in lead, go to EPA, go to my site, Gordon Research, put in lead. You will know why we have all these health problems we have for which we give people drugs, whether you want to talk about depression or you want to talk about hypertension or you want to talk about osteoporosis, whatever you want to talk about, you can factor lead into cancer, into heart disease, everything. It's an astonishing story because remember, I've started this chelation thing over 38 years ago now. When I started it, we knew that EDTA, ethylene diamine tetraacetic acid, that's a huge mouthful, but acetic acid is another word for vinegar. So really it's a souped up kind of vinegar. But we, 35, 38 years ago, when we started seeing the legs getting warm again, even if they had started toward gangrene, memory coming back, and angina going away, oh, if we had said then that the reason we have so much heart disease is lead, they would have locked me up as insane. So fortunately, now it's 38 years later, and even the American Heart Association's prestigious journal called Circulation has the article, Lead Unmask as Silent Killer. And if anybody ever takes the time to read any of this on my website, you will see that chasing cholesterol, because it makes so many people so much money, is a sad story about greed, because cholesterol is nothing compared to the power of taking lead out. But you see, they can't patent the oral chelation. It's been around too long, and it's relatively about not much more expensive than taking high-dose vitamin C, which is also a chelation treatment. So if you looked at truth, you, if you were the head of health for the United States, you would ban the statins because that's just a racket. The, the benefit of statins has been sold to everybody. Oh, you've got to be on statins. You've got cholesterol. Cholesterol is a building block in your body for healthy cells. You knock cholesterol down too low, you develop health problems. And if we compare the data of the benefit of taking lead out of every human being versus hammering their cholesterol down to unrealistic levels, there's no comparison. The cost to getting lead out would be one-tenth what it is to play with cholesterol. And the safety is the following. Following. When you're on oral chelation, we have documented studies that EDTA is so safe that if you dip a multicellular organism in this special form of vinegar, EDTA, if you dip it daily, the organism lives 50% longer than it's ever lived before. You cannot say that with statins, which are now being tied to increasing diabetes in the population, to increasing cancer. The statins have problems, but so many people get rich on it. The drug companies, remember, make so much money. Theoretically, if they sell you a Valium prescription for $100, their total cost of that Valium 